Hi, my name's Brett Summerall from the Australian Institute of Botanical Science. Today we're up here at the Mount Tomar Spur up in the Blue Mountains looking at some of the country that was devastated by fires and the Gospers Mountain Fire in December 2019. What we wanted to show you was how some of the Australian flora adapts to fire, how it is able to respond and recover and some of the impacts on the vegetation that happened here nearly six months ago. This area is a, usually a, a spectacular piece of bushland with fantastic eucalypts, angophoras, red gums and a whole range of different species that occur here and once these fires go through they have a, a huge and devastating impact. Climate change is having a big impact on the frequency of these sorts of fires. We're seeing regular high temperatures, average temperatures, reduced incidence of rainfall. We're quite lucky here at um, the Blue Mountains Botanic Gardens to have this bit of bushland because it's got a variety of different ecosystems and habitats that occur in this area. We have rainforests over there where the are quite moist and quite wet with a range of species, woodlands, wet woodlands and then into this uh, more open sandstone flora. And what we're going to do today is have a look at some, how the, the bush is recovering, look at the epicomic growth, this new fresh growth that's coming out of some of the trunks of plants that you would think would have been killed by the fires, looking at, looking at the seedlings and the, the new growth that's coming up through the bushland and have a look at some of the amazing adaptations of Australian plants to bushfires. Uh, it's a great place to be able to do that and we've been coming here fairly regularly since the fire so we've got a nice understanding of the different changes that happen over uh, on a gradual basis over that period of time. So this is a great example of the, uh, the ways in which some of the Australian bush is able to respond after the fire. So we've got a range of different plants in the family Proteaceae that are all shooting new growth from the lignotubers, the swollen stems protected by really thick bark at the base here um, has been able to survive the fire and embed embedded in the soil and so these banks here, old man banks here, are, are putting out these new shoots from the, this protected lignotuber, the mountain devils and the fasunias all shooting from new growth from the, from the lignotuber and responding really quite well.